If you're a God-fearing man, then you'll note that a lot of the criminals that appear on this show are sinful in the extreme. Sins as dictated by the Lord may not cover all manner of misdemeanors which today's society throws up. There's no commandment that says that thou shalt not beat the living piss out of people with handcuffs on. There is, however, a commandment that says that theft is wrong. These two have entered a department store intent on racking up as many broken commandments as possible. At first, it seems, their reason for being there is to buy themselves a gold chain. You know, for the homeboys on the street. The store clerk helps them out, attending to their every need, but when she goes to open the till, their true purposes become apparent. All of a sudden, there's a gun pointed in the clerk's face, and she backs right off. One guy clears the till while his mate watches for anyone who might disturb them just off camera. They then force the clerk, still at gunpoint, to give them the gold chain and anything else she might have of value. Then off they go. Now you might say that it was a fairly textbook robbery. Nothing went wrong, they got away with the money and the jewellery, no one got hurt and they left no fingerprints. But this is where they shoot themselves in the foot. Their list of sins is growing. Envy, wrath, sloth. After all, they made the woman open the till for them. And you can now add greed. And greed will be their undoing. You see, after one successful robbery, they must have thought they're on a roll, because only a few minutes later, and only a few metres down the road, the same pair hit a grocery store. Once again, they wait for the storekeeper to be free, allowing him to finish up with his other customers first, and then starts a new double act. The robber from before pulls his pistol again, and his mate, who was on the lookout, this time produces a shotgun. Naturally, the shopkeeper is petrified and hands over all his money, and off they go again. But the cops are just next door at the last burglary they did, and straight away, they're nicked. So you see, whether you're breaking laws or commandments, and whether you're answering to God or Judge Judy, similar rules apply.